Hey everybody, Zach Kortz here with Motorcyclist. I am in Portimao, Portugal at the first ride event for Honda's new 2017 CBR 1000 RR and SP. So I'm gonna swing a leg over that SP model, take you for a flying lap of Portimao, which is a roller coaster, let me tell you, and talk through some, not all, of the changes for 2017, of which there are many. So I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna start riding, let's go. Okay guys, I think that's all we have time for here after a long and very busy day on Honda's new CBR 1000. What are the takeaways you want to know? Good question. We will start with the cons. I don't like that traction control and wheelie control are tied to each other, unable to be adjusted independently. And also that wheelie control works on wheel speed sensors instead of pitch from the IMU, which is already attached to the bike. It seems like that's an easy jump to make and would catch it up with the best leader bikes on the market. Um, the pros, the bike's very small. It's compact, it's easy to move around on. The power is extremely linear, it's easy to use, it's strong, it's fast. It's an easy bike to ride quickly, which is a big deal on a racetrack such as port -a -Mount. As far as on the street, um, I think it'll be a great street bike. The optional quick shifter is very, very good. Um, I think it looks pretty bitchin', personally, um, and it sounds good, and again, the linear power. It's easy to use, it's easy to ride, it's gonna be great on a twisty road, and typical Honda, it's very refined, it's easy to ride, stoplight to stoplight on your commute, say. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, that's about all I have to say. I am just gonna do one last thing here in Portimao. I'm gonna step up on the podium because it feels like a little bit of a victory getting to ride around here for the day, so I'm gonna celebrate standing on the top step and celebrating with all these fans we have here. Packed house, obviously, in Portimao. Uh, yeah, I'm signing off. That's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope we'll see you next time at MotorcyclistOnline.com.